You know, Tommy, there is nothing better in the snow than having a V8, let me keep going, all-wheel drive, cop car-ish <laughs> with snow tires. That's right, Dad. So in today's video, we're gonna do our first real snow test with our Dodge Charger Pursuit. This is a 2019 Hemi-powered all-wheel drive five-speed that we bought for just $9,000. Yeah, and when we bought it, it came with these brand new dedicated snow tires. So what are we rolling on, dude? Well, this is the Goodyear Eagle Winter Enforcer, which is a fantastic name. But yeah, right before this vehicle was put up for sale at auction from the um, Wyoming State Patrol, they slapped on these brand new tires. And then of course we took them off immediately because we bought it in the summertime. But now they're back on the car and we're gonna try out this all wheel drive system and see how our cheap as chips cop car performs in the snow. Yeah, what makes this car unique is that you cannot, or at least me and you could not have bought a v8 with all-wheel drive only the v6 was available but if you were law enforcement well that's not super true dad the pre facelift to this car you could have with the five speed and the v8 and all-wheel drive that stopped in like 2014 when they switched to the eight speed um, but the cop versions kept getting that five speed all-wheel drive combo for a long time which is why it's in the new body style all right well why don't you jump in yep. uh, and we'll test it out in the snow now it's freaking cold out here it's about zero degrees uh-huh uh, so we're gonna uh, see how it does does when it's this cold and this is when those tires actually come to life below 44 degrees the compound on snow tires actually grips the snow giving you that's my gripping grips the snow giving you a lot more traction uh, and of course with all-wheel drive um, the only really thing that's missing from this car uh, is ground clearance uh, and when it's you know very deep but there he goes I oh, love the sound of that V8 verbal. Oh my God, it's so freaking cold out here. All right, here he comes. He's having fun. Don't call the cops on him, please. Oh, stop and looks. You know, there's nothing better than having the right tool for the right job. Uh, and this car is certainly the right tool. Look how mean that looks. I think I'm gonna have to jump in with it before I freeze. You know, Tommy, uh, you know, Tommy, people sometimes forget that uh, in snow, it's not just about getting going, it's about actually stopping. Oh, 100% dead. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's so cold. My hands are freezing. So while you put your seatbelt on, Dad, let's talk about some of the cool features in this car. So one of the cool things is this car actually has a disconnectable all-wheel drive system. It happens automatically, but you got this little indicator here in the vehicle info that'll show you when you're in rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. It defaults to rear-wheel drive when you're steady-state cruising. And I also, this is my favorite thing to do in this car. If you go ahead and put push traction control one, you can put it in the sport mode, and that allows just enough slip to have fun, but not so much where you're gonna go barreling into a guard rail. So Dad, let's talk about the performance of our all-wheel drive cop car. And as you mentioned, it's all about tires and these Goodyear Eagle Enforcers, I mean, they are amazing. We probably got four inches of fairly fresh snow here. And this car is just a beast in the snow. It plows through almost anything that you put at it, um, which is really fantastic. It stops super well. The steering is sharp and direct. Now, from a performance standpoint of the cop car, one thing I've noticed is that this car does appear to be very rear wheel drive biased, which means you can do some pretty fun slides if we put it in the traction control sport mode, even at super slow safe speeds, just a little bit of accelerator. Look at that. Perfect <laughs> amount of perfect amount of slide going on there. Now our teaching my slide is on uh, and that's because the cold uh, took the tire pressure down uh, below, you know, the recommended settings. Well, it's negative six degrees right now, Dad. <laughs> it's negative six? Is that what the car says? Fahrenheit. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, that's, that's super cold. That is cold. Um, I'm sure all the people in Alaska are like, you bunch of yeah, I know. You know, kids, we go swimming in that. <laughs> exactly right. But look at, look at the performance of this car. It's amazing. Now, one of the drawbacks is, did you see all the snow and ice that kind of pack up behind the front wheel? I did. It's quite the uh, snowy uh, wheel arch right now. Yeah, it sure is. So that is a drawback. Um, this vehicle, because it's the interceptor version, uh, the police version, it does have some 
differences, for example, like look over here, Dad. Mm -hmm. It's got the column shifter. It's got the red light and the white light there. It's got no rear door handles. <laughs> it's got the cop it's got light. The cop, the light. cop light. Yeah. Yep, there's the cop, cop light. light. Yeah, we made that work again. Yep. Um, and like I said, we paid about nine grand, which, you know, you're probably thinking, well, that's not a cheap car. And you're right. I mean, it's not. For 160 miles, it's not. Well, it, no, it's not 100. It's got 150,000 miles. Oh, oh, sorry. I got it wrong by 10. Well, you said 160. <laughs> you were off by 149,000. Well, no, I'm at 840. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm giving you a hard time. You're giving me a hard time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we bought this car with 148,000. Um, everybody said we were stupid and the car was going to blow up. Now, granted, we only put about 3,000 miles on this car, so not a ton. But so far, it's running just as good as the day we bought it. You want to get a couple more shots? Yeah, we put uh, this in here too. Because, yeah, didn't have the center that console. Was gone. All right, uh, I'll be quiet. You want to talk or you want me to talk? Um, I'm worried about the mic distance. All right, all right, I'll uh, talk and you be quiet. Okay, I'll be right. quiet. You be quiet. You just, That's you just the way it should be, Dad. <laughs> That's no right. No one wants to hear me talk. No, no one wants to hear me talk. All, all right, right I'm going to go right here. All right, don't let me stand out here for too long. Okay. Okay, bye. We also did the exhaust on the car. Yeah, we, uh, we thought that a V8 needed to sound like a V8. Uh, obviously, a police car, you want it to be quiet. It is getting really, really bound up. I do like the V8 burble, Tommy. Well, Dad, you remember we actually went to our, our man yeah. at Monster Muffler? Yeah, hold on. Hold and this he removed a couple of resonators out the back. Yeah. And really opened up the sound, Dad, so it's got a really great sound. <sighs> Thanks for filming out there. It's super cold, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now, the one thing that uh, police cars don't have is heated seats or heated steering wheel. Yeah, so that's sorry true. Sorry for all you... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen in law enforcement, I would certainly be up for uh, higher taxes just to give you a heated steering wheel and <laughs> heated seats. It's true, especially in colder environments. <laughs> yes, I know. And that, but another thing we got to mention is that this car has been discontinued. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, now you got to get an Explorer or a Tahoe. But yeah, all the police cruisers are gone. The Ford Interceptor is gone. Um, this is a pursuit. Yeah, so... What I mean is that the um, ch Charger Challengers are gone, right, Dad? Yeah. So the, the state of Wyoming has actually gone ahead and replaced their Challengers with um, Durangos. So they're running Durangos now. You're like Mopar, I take it. Oh, yeah. So a lot of fun, Dad. And if you want to be a little bit more, um, perhaps less slidey, whoop, yeah. you turn the traction control back on and it's got more intervention. But that's just to ride them out where it'll let you get the tail out a little bit without being dangerous. And I just gotta say, I'm blown away with this. Now, granted, you're probably thinking 9K, that's super not super cheap, but for a V8 powered anything with all wheel drive, it's about as low as you're gonna go in 2024. Um, reliability wise, it is a concern of mine. You know, people say that these cop cars are driven hard and put away wet. From the law enforcement officers I've talked to, it all depends on the agency and how it's used. This was a highway patrol car so there weren't a lot of people throwing up in the back seat or at least we were told um, and also they're used mostly on the highway albeit typically at full throttle trying to catch up to somebody but um, look the engine doesn't tick it doesn't have the hemi tick transmission shifts really well there's an ever so slight whine from the front diff which probably shouldn't be there but the suspension's tight brakes are new thing is in really really good great shape for its age yeah, I love this car, especially on a day like this uh, with dedicated snow tires. Makes you, uh, you know, just appreciate how good the technology has gotten. I would say, you know, snow tires today are worth every penny uh, that you spend on them, especially in states like Colorado where we get snow. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, and as always, this is this has been Tommy and Roman saying we'll see you guys next time. Ciao.